Welcome to my updated version of my Ethereum Flash Loan bot. Today I want to talk about a few questions and things that were unclear on the last video. Also I changed something in the code so to prevent possible compiler problems. So first you need to download as always Metamask and from now on it only works with Metamask and also I often become the question if this works also on mobile. Unfortunately not. This bot only works with Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So just click on download, install Metamask, in this case for Chrome, because I use Google Chrome. After you install it, just proceed with the uh, process to create a wallet. When you finish this, just open Remix, go to Compiler, no, my, my fault, go to Deploy and Run Transaction, go here, Inject Back Free, and now you can connect actually your Metamask wallet I already did it, just click here on connect with Remix. So if you did that, just open a new, create a new file. We call this now YouTube loan. And next step we need to do is we head over to compiler and we're choosing 0, 0.0 plus commit. Scroll down here, plus commit. So the next thing what we need to do to deploy the contract is to pass and copy our code strings. You find this strings in the video description. Head over back to the main page on the first sheet, just copy it in. So if you did that, go back to compiler and make sure you hit on including 90 bytes as well. Click on compile YouTube loan. And then here on contract, it should also appear TI flash loan bot. And if you did that, next thing we need to do is go to deploy and run transaction. Click here, token name. In this case, we just call it TI token. You can name it whatever you want. You can also just take the same as I did, just copy me. And the loan amount, this I often get asked, I don't change it. I just let it stay always to 1000. But you can do it also like that, that 0 0.1 Ether is like 100. So basically if you're using 1.5 ETH, the loan amount is 1500. In my opinion, I don't find it really necessary, but my Discord community thinks that it's more important to change it, but I leave it always on 1000. Even though I use in this case later on well, 1.5 Ether. Then we come to click the transaction and then we need to pay a small fee for that to deploy actually the bot. So you can estimate to pay roughly around 90 to 130 US dollars depending on the gas just and fee. Meanwhile the process is finished. You get also the confirmation but I want to ask or resolve a few questions. Um, often the people ask me, I have it now here, notice why I need to have funds on the bot itself and it makes profit with gas. The fees you pay is for the contract interaction itself because otherwise you execute only one loan at a time and you had only a few cents or penny profit, which is not really worth mention. The bot scales with the funds you send, so the procedure w when you entry at the address it's like 100 to up to 1,000 loans at once. That's why you also make such a great return. The gas fee you will provide will also be sent back to the contract and the bot starts working with it again. So there are a few loans who will fail, but that will doesn't impact you at all because the bot takes your profit, then sends the funds back to the bot and searching for another opportunity and you only send back the profits the bot made via the loans. And often people ask me, how long should you let the bot run? It's really up to you. I prefer to let my bot run between one or two weeks. So after the final procedure is done, you get the contract address here and you're good to go to send actually the funds to the bot. Just click here on send. I told you in this case, we are using 1.5 Ether. Just we need to wait now again to proceed it.
it can take also time. It can actually take up to five minutes when you're looking for a pretty decent low uh, gas fee or guai. And then it could be take longer because then you have a low fee and the fee may be increased already and then you need to take uh, it take a while that the process is actually finished. So last time I used the bot with one ether and let it run for almost two weeks and I told you also that I want this time to send all my profits back to a KuCoin wallet. So I made roughly in this two weeks 18,219 US dollars just with two weeks of using the Ethereum flash loan bot. So the estimated profits are around 37k a month. That is really insane. That's why I told you guys also on my last BNB video that the Ethereum version proceeds much more profits than the BNB version. It's because the entry costs are higher, but there is much less competition compared to the BNB version where you can start with 200 US dollars already, what is almost the cost of the fees to deploy the contract to the Ethereum version. The min amount to let the bot run with is still 0 0.3 Ether, but I recommend at least 0 0.5 Ethereum. As I already said, in this case we sent 1.5 Ether to the contract. The final step is to start the bot. All you need to do now is click here on this arrow, hit the action button and you are uh, Basically, after you pay the fees, you are good to go. It takes also a little time to yeah, proceed it. So as a side note, when you finally deployed the bot, just send me the contract ID via Discord so I can assign your roles in the Discord channel so you can use all channels. And I highly recommend it to join the Discord channel for latest news and updates. We already reached over 500 members who are using the bot what is actually absolutely amazing, in my opinion. And also, when you have any kind of question, feel free to message me via Discord. I have also my Discord linked in the video description. Next week, I will finally release the NFT Sniper bot developed with me, my friend Prey. So stay tuned for more infos and see you guys in the next video.